All right, guys, today's video, today's Ask the Barn Geek question is this. Looking at the pictures on your website, it seems most of the new barns are using board and batten siding. Look at, looking at the old barns, it looks like just vertical boards. I want the look of just vertical boards for a barn I'm going to build. I understand the value in the battens when it comes to keeping rain, wind, moisture out, but I don't like how it looks. How do you think, or what do you think about something like a vertical shiplap using half inch rabbits on the opposite edges? I think I can get the look of just vertical boards and still get the increased rain slash moisture protection of board and batten. I'm sure someone must have tried it. Any potential problems that you've seen? Um, and uh, so, and this question comes from Jim uh, from North Carolina. Yes, uh, absolutely. You could use uh, shiplap siding uh, with half-inch rabbits or three-quarter inch rabbits. I've seen it with both. Um, and uh, typically, and I'm going to show you why we use board and batten. For those of you that that don't understand why, I, it sounds like Jim understands. You know, to keep the rain, wind, moisture out. Uh, typically, for the use of these structures that's more important than it was on a traditional barn although traditional barns have used all three types of siding several different types of siding as a matter of fact um, so here's a couple pictures here is a uh, an older barn that I had that has I believe either tongue and groove or shiplap I can't remember which now uh, let's go see another picture. Yeah, I believe it's shiplap siding. Um, here it is, a little bit closer. You can see it starts to gap a little bit, but there's a little bit of wood behind it. That's the lap of the uh, of the previous board. Now, if you're going to use shiplap siding, it has to be dry. It can't be green. So if you can put green siding on it's going to gap uh, at least a quarter inch between here. So you're going to have quite wide gaps. Um, and then, uh, you know, if it's just shiplapped a half an inch, the potential is there that, that you'll have some, some weather leaking. But typically you don't have to worry about that because, um, <clears throat> because if you purchase shiplap siding, it's going to be dry. Um, if you try to make it yourself, that's what I'm warning, warning against. Uh, you can't just take green rough cut lumber and use a router and machine your, your shiplap on the edges and expect it to stay weather tight because it's going to shrink a little bit. Um, so if you're going to use shiplap siding, you want to make sure you get dry material. Okay, so here's what just regular board siding looks like on an old barn. You see the large gap here. And the reason that this was done um, was there's a very specific reason. They weren't just being lazy by leaving the, the battens off. What their, their goal was was for ventilation. So this was kind of an air inlet. And then the, the gable vents at the top of the barn or the cupola on the roof of the barn functioned as a sort of a chimney to, to create a draft effect. So it was pulling cool air into the uh, and through the siding, the gaps, the cracks, you know, uh, leaks in, a, in an old barn are intentional uh, to draw that air in and then pull it out through the, uh, the cupola or the gable vents in order to cycle, continually cycle fresh air in this area because these areas were were designed for these areas like this were designed to hold feed um, either hay hay up above here and then in these um, areas where the granary uh, was located and that was to to keep this material from collecting moisture and molding and going bad, causing fires and, and all sorts of havoc. Uh, the, the design of these barns being tall, um, high pitch roofs um, was all intentional 
to get that air flowing really well. And uh, so that's that's one reason why the siding was gapped or the siding had gaps left in it. Um, also in Kentucky, they had a lot of barns with very large gaps and those were to, you know, to, for the same reason they, they would dry out tobacco, you know, traditional tobacco barns uh, were designed to dry that tobacco in the, in the right environment. So, um, but in today's uh, uses, most of the uses today, as far as the, the, the barns that we are providing, um, plans and, and hardware kits for, are uh, their uses are much different. It, it, weather is a bigger factor in, in that the goal is to keep most of the moisture, the, the airflow out to kind of make a warm shelter for humans and animals and uh, stored goods. So, but anyway, uh, so that's why we use board and batten um, because it's the best thing to use if you're going to use green material. So if you use green material, that batten is going to cover that gap. Uh, that, that, that you'll have uh, through shrinkage. Um, but of course the shiplap can also um, accomplish that goal as long as you know the wood is is dry down to at least eight or ten percent moisture content. Um, any wetter than that and it's going to shrink too far and you will have gaps in between the siding. So uh, that's just another option for siding. It is a is a very good option um, if you want to avoid the batten look on a on a on a traditional barn. You can see this traditional barn had battens on it, and over the years of reclaiming barns for their barn wood, I, about a third of the barns had battens on them traditionally. Um, I don't know why that is. Uh, I don't know why they added battens to them. It's possible that they wanted more of an airtight system. Uh, you can see their gable vents have been blocked off. It's possible that when they blocked off the gable vents, they added the battens. You know, maybe they switched functions of this barn over the years. Who knows? But like I said, about a third of the barns that I've torn down had battens on them traditionally. So, um, and then another third had shiplap and then about the other third had uh, uh, just plain board without battens on it. So. so there you go. I hope that answers the question. If you guys like this video, uh, click the thumbs up and we will catch you on the next video. Have a great day.